Good morning, folks. Welcome to the Year of the Prepper. We've got space weather and a solar storm on the way. We'll kick off the year with a first ever type of study published and it's right in our wheelhouse. Our live show last night is unanimously agreed to be our best ever and we're going to start with our star and you see a bright event up north an M7 solar flare. It's followed towards the end of the sequence, bottom left near the 8 o'clock position, by a filament that erupts violently. While that one is aimed about 90 degrees away from our planet, the first one is driven by the solar flare and was closer to central heliographic longitudes. The coronal plasma push suggests CME eruption. The plasma shock wave was seen emerging from the sun about an hour later with a nearly full halo component. NOAA is confidently saying that early on the 3rd, which is dinner time in the Americas on January 2nd, that shockwave will arrive at Earth and has a chance to drive the first auroral event of the year. We'll be watching closely for that event and anything else coming from those sunspots. Folks, our science news to kick off the new year is this. You know all those pre-earthquake electromagnetic anomalies in the atmosphere? Turns out the Hunga Tonga eruption had one too. And guess what? They want to discount it as being unrelated because a solar storm disturbance traveling through the ionosphere hit the area at that exact moment. Just a coincidence, they say. In reality, that ionospheric disruption instantly was impacting the vertical global electric circuit which interacts with the ground and especially stored energy in the ground. The sun triggered the Tonga blast. Folks, last night was the first of the new format, 75 minutes of science, no salt, no angry Ben, and that guy won't be on the channel again. But for those who stuck around on our other page, we did go another 45 minutes and it was 100% wang half. If you missed it last night, the live stream is on our channel homepage. Folks, the Orlando event is nine days away, but it is sold out. There's less than 10 tickets left for Dallas in February. Las Vegas in March has 21 seats left link below. And folks, our special issue of the e-magazine is a masterpiece to kick off the year. It's all the major pole shift and earth disaster cycle articles from 2025. Bailey compiled quite the menu of bombshells from the last 12 months. It's still the only publication on earth actively tracking the pole shift and earth disaster cycle. It's the best way to support this YouTube channel and it's the best way to stay updated on the biggest stories related to the disaster cycle and why they matter. We greatly appreciate your support. Links to the tour, the e-magazine, and much more is found below. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.